Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we saw how to test custom validation using R spec, and in this lecture, we will again check another basic thing using R spec for the user model. Here, we will learn how to test active record exceptions using R spec. Whenever you try to save any record and you get the validation error, then Rails might throw uh, active record record invalid exception if you use save not method okay so let's start with this first open the user model and check for the validations so in the user model you can see that we have validation added for name city country and contact number as presence to so user cannot left these attributes as blank and we have name sorry email as presence to and uniqueness to that means user must provide the value of email and every user must have a unique email from other users okay and practically if you see in the real world that no two users can share the contact common contact number as well so we can add the uniqueness true for contact number as well just like email so just copy this contact number not copy just cut this here and paste it here and now you can see that we have uniqueness validation for both email and contact number okay however making this contact number unique is totally optional if you don't want to make contact number unique you can ignore this step you can test uh, this uniqueness validation or this uh, uh, active record exception testing using email attribute only okay now let's open the user spec file to write spec to test this uniqueness validation so switch to the user spec again and in this spec file we need to initialize a new let with user2 in the context okay so just to copy this user and what we can do here we can provide a common let here that is user2 okay and just to do the same thing like build user and here you need to do something different that provide the email and contact number to this user2 same as the user so what we can do here email as user dot email okay and then contact number as user dot contact number okay that means this will initialize this let user2 will initialize the user with the existing factory data but it will take the email of this user and contact number of this user okay so whenever you save both user and user2 you will get that they are trying to save same email and same contact number for both of the users and this should raise an active record record invalid exception okay now we define the let it's time to define a new it block into this spec so what we can do here define an it block so it and here you need to write a message for your it block so what uh, message we can write let's say it should raise record invalid exception for duplicate email and contacts so it should raise invalid record exception for duplicate email and contact okay two and now we need to implement this it block okay but here you can see that we just use build for both user and user two okay and build will only initialize the empty objects not save them into the database okay and for only initialization purpose you can use common values too you will get validation error once you get to save those objects into the database so what we need to do here first we need to save the user so user dot save okay and then what we need to do first we need to check expect and here user 2 dot save now just to save this as well at 2 and what we can expect here let's say eq false and add a debugger here so save this and now come to the terminal and run this spec with line number 17 because we already tested this 8 and 13 number spec so we will execute only this spec okay however if you wish you can again run the entire user spec but i will run only the spec from line number 17 okay so switch to the terminal and in the terminal what we need to do r spec spec model user spec dot rb and then line number 17 okay here you can see whenever 
we run this spec you will see that we are at the debugger so user.save has worked and now what we need to do user2.save you will see that uh, we will get false why because whenever you use save method and any validation get failed you will return either true or false i mean whenever a record is get successfully saved you will get true or else there is any validation error then you will get false okay so here we are expecting false and we got that so our spec will be passed here but this is not we need to do what we need to do here we need to raise the active record record invalid exception and that we cannot achieve using user2.save so what we need to do here user2.save not okay because save not will throw the exception and here you can see what we are getting error validation error email has already been taken and contact number has already been taken okay so this is what we need to test and we need to raise this exception and we need to pass our spec so now just execute from this spec and you can see one example zero failure so what we need to do here we need to do expect and then user to dot save not okay and then to now we do not need to use eq measure here we need to check another method that is raise error so what we need to do here dot to raise error and then we need to name the exception here so what exception we are expecting active record record invalid okay because whenever you use save not method and any validation error you achieve you will get this exception active record record invalid so now we need to run this spec but this spec will not work again okay let me show you uh, first by first running this so run this spec and you will get an error so first we need to overcome from the debugger just let's see here and you will see that active record record invalid validation failed email has already been taken contact number has already been taken so we got this exception but still our spec is failing why because here you can see which save not or which active record methods which uh, uh, cause the changes into the database what you need to do you need to use block instead of parenthesis okay so what we need to do here we need to copy this user to dot save not and we need to use curly braces here and now if you run this spec you will get your spec passed now okay so just save this and switch to the terminal and run the spec again and now you will see your spec will get passed okay so you can see one example zero failure okay now let me again check uh, let me again repeat that first what we did we initialized a user okay and we initialize another user with the same user email and contact number okay and then we write the it block where what we did we first save the user and then we expect user to dot save and return false okay but just expect false whenever you use only save method okay and do not expect this false or true value when you use user to dot save not because it will raise the exception okay and whenever you try to pass this spec what you need to use you need to use this block not parenthesis here otherwise your spec will not work and you will get your spec failing even though the exception is raised but your spec will get failed okay and one more thing i want to let you know that i recently posted a lecture on difference between save and save not and i will add the link of that lecture into the description of this lecture if you want to know the difference please check out that lecture as well and that's it this is all from this lecture in the next lecture we will work on many to many association with user and some other model and there we will write a big complex spec till then just try this lecture at your end so thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe